Shalom. This is your Hebrews like brother, Meshaba, here in the city of Detroit. We'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakwadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth, peace, and salutations to the hopeful elects. Shalom. Welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is on Deuteronomy chapter 20, uh, 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 36. Okay. And uh, I am your your Hebrews like Brother Meshaba. Okay. In case I didn't say it. Okay. Today, uh, this is going to be a short lesson, a short video. Okay. Because there's not very many precepts on this one. I'm going to put some, some, some together on it. Anyway, let's go straight off into it. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 36, King James Version. For the Lord shall judge his people. You see? And that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to judge his people. Why would the Lord judge anybody else? Okay? Because remember, the laws, statutes, and commandments were given unto us. It wasn't given unto no other peoples. There were When Moses came down, and from the mountaintop, okay, from getting the law, statutes, and commandments with judgments, and from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay, he came down to who? Who was there waiting at the foot of the mountain? For Moses, okay? It was our people. It was, there was no Amalekites. There were no uh, 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 Moabs. There, there, there were no Ammonites. There were no Amalekites. There were no Edomites. There was no none of that. There were no Hamites, Jephites, none of that. It was only the Hebrew Israelites, us. We were there when Moses came down, okay, with the law, statutes, and commandments, with judgments, okay? And they were primarily for who? For us to live by. And once we would live by them accordingly, properly, living to, to the righteous instructions given unto the, uh, given unto us by the Lord, then we were to rule the rest of the world with the laws, statutes, and commandments. Instead, we went off. We were disobedient. You see, so the Lord has to come and judge His people. That's us. Okay, we were the ones that were given the laws, statutes, and commandments. We were the ones that were supposed to be uh, 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 obedient. Instead, we were rebellious. Okay, and so and, and rebellion is a form of rich, witchcraft. Okay, therefore we must be judged. Our people must be judged. Okay, let's read on and repent himself. Repent himself. He would repent himself for whatever judgment that he would have laid levied against us. Because remember, Yahweh Shem Shai is not going to be angry with us forever. Okay, he's a merciful, merciful God. He's our father, okay? And he has mercy and compassion upon us, whom he chooses, okay? Romans chapter 9, verse uh, 15 through 18, okay? Okay. Repent himself for his servants, you see, for us, for our sakes. Repent his judgments against us because guess what? There's no way that we can be perfect. You know, as long as we are in these, these corruptible uh, uh, bodies, and with these corruptible minds, we're going to have corruptible times, okay? And so it's because of the blood of Yahweh as to the as to how we were adopted back onto the Father, okay, by his blood that has cleansed us and washed us clean. When he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. You see, you see. And so we're looking forward to the Lord when he comes, when he comes. He's going to make sure that the angels provide protection, food, water, shielding, and all of that for those whom he has chosen to be saved. Okay. But for the rest, for the rest, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 12. Therefore, I shall number ye to the sword, and ye shall bow down 
to the slaughter. Okay? And that's what that be. Now, let's look up from some of these here precepts here. We got a few here. Okay? And so, we're going to go off into this. This is uh, Psalms chapter uh, 7, verse 8. The Lord shall judge the people. We're talking about his people, us. And, and, uh, and to the reason why we have what? Um, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse uh, 5. Do seven. Slay ye utterly, both old and young. Start ye first in my sanctuary. Why? Because you have brothers that have creeped in unawares, unannounced. And they standing right beside you on the lineup. They camp on the lineup. They standing right beside you. And some of them brothers just ain't right. You see, when you go to some of them, the uh, brothers, uh, 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 um, individual YouTube channels, you will see, clearly see, when you hear their diatribe, when they ain't got the rest of the fellas with them, when they by themselves and they trying to do a video, they can't quite get it right because they ain't right, period, you see. It's the other camp br brothers that's holding them up. But what are you going to do when your Yahweh shall come to visit you? Your Yahweh shall, before he comes, he's going to shut America down and shut the rest of this world down and take everybody through Jacob's troubles. When he does this, all of the camps are going to be busted up. All the brothers are not going to be able to, you know, give each other motivation and inspiration and be there for each other. You're going to be by yourself. You're going to be, in fact, about a couple of years ago, I made a video called, um, Yahweh busting up all of the camps. Yahweh is busting up all of the camps. You see, and that's what it, and that's what Jacob's troubles is going to do. It's going to cause a busting up of all of the camps. Okay, because one, some brothers, they're just simply not able to stand by themselves. That's one of the reasons why Yahweh Shai made made things where. I didn't go straight into the camp once I woke up. And, 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 and I've been pushing this truth for 10 years now. 10 years. I'm low vision blind. I'm low vision blind. I'm a shut-in. Okay, that's the only reason why I, I haven't been down to the uh, GMS or uh, the Detroit camp. You see? I mean, um, my escort, I'm no, I'm usually escorted everywhere I go. You know, to all my appointments and, 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 and errands and different things. But for some reason, my escort, he's not available on Saturdays, <laughs> right? You see, why? Because he's he, he is on a left-hand uh, vibration. He is um, um, a, a terror. He looks like one of us, but his, uh, well, I think his, his great-grandfather uh, was an Edomite. So that makes his, fa his grandfather an Edomite and then his father an Edomite and then him an Edomite and then any son that he have an Edomite. Okay, even though he looks like one of us. You know, you know, and, and like I say, where, where, where does he go? He goes to the house of Jacob. They calling on Jesus, but they're supposed to be Hebrews. You see, you see. So he's on a left-hand vibration. I can't pull him away from it. And yes, he does go and visit his family and friends on a regular basis all the time, like clockwork. And nothing I can do about that, you know. And so, and like I say, at some point, you know, it's going to be about me going down there to the camp by myself, even though I'm low vision blind, you see. And it's easy for a brother that's got eyes that can see, it's easy for you to say, well, why don't you just go on down there? Though? You know, I don't see the problem. That's right. You don't see the problem. That's because you're not low vision blind. If you was low vision blind and you had to see through my eyes, you'd be mad. Everything and everywhere I look, I'm in a complete cloud. Everything is in a cloud for me. A cloud that won't go away. You see? And I can't see past a cloud. You see, so, so, but I still push the truth. Why? Because even with with your afflictions, you still have to try and push this truth. You see, you still got to try. 
You still got to try. You got to try. You got to try. You see? Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness. You see? Because our works from our past lives and this life, when we get up there, all that is going to be going to follow us. The goodness, the righteousness that we've been doing. You see? And that means something. The Lord is not is it, it, not unrighteous that He would forget our labor and our labor and act of love. You see, He's going to reward us for this. You see, so for all this that we're doing, and so for for, for you brothers that that uh, don't get a lot of likes and views on your videos, you know, sometimes I don't get a lot of likes and view, uh, views on my videos, but still, that don't mean uh, ain't nobody watching. Because why? Because YouTube they be lying on the uh, views and likes count, okay? And they'll show that uh, uh, you only got one, two, three, maybe four views. No, no, one, two, maybe three hundred views. But they but by us being Hebrew Israelites, they censor and, and shadow ban our, you know. YouTube channels, <clears throat> you see, <clears throat> on purpose, <clears throat> you see, and according to mine integrity that is in me, you see, that's why every man, I got to what, you got to uh, 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 work out his own salvation with the Lord, because individually, the Lord has given each and every man, I said it before, each and every man has been given his level of faith. Okay, according to the work that Yahweh has planned for you. Okay, he's not going to give you the faith of a lion. And all thing he's going to do is use you to pick flowers. You see. So as to the reason why, again, I say some some of you brothers may be good at. Uh, 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 keeping the, uh, the, uh, keeping up with the, uh, the history, but you're not good in preaching. You got some brothers that are good at preaching, not good at, at keeping up with the history. You got some brothers that are good at keeping up with the names and the history, but not good at preaching. Some brothers are good at preaching and keeping up with the names, but they're not good with the history. You know, some brothers are good with the history, but they're not good with the dates. They're good with the names, but they're not good with certain particulars. You see? And so far, I have not met not one brother from Tahar on down. I have not met not one brother that's got the whole package and just him one self. That's the reason why we are a sanctuary together. You see, we are a sanctuary together. And for, uh, for your, your brothers that are like myself, that is not physically in a GMS camp, understand this. The word of the Lord don't stop at the camp. You see, as to the reason why we have the Internet, we go to the camp, receive the truth that the brothers are pushing out. You see, for those of us who are not able to actually physically be in a GMS camp, there's still the GMS spiritual camp that we are a part of. You see, the word don't stop at the video. It goes on further. How do you think brothers all over the world have been popping up and giving do double honors and all these, all these different things? Where did they get it from? You see, they got it from GMS. They got it from GMS. Why? Because it, the, the spirit moves through the video and reaches another brother. You see, and so don't 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 sit up and try to make a, a brother feel uh, uh, wrong or bad because he's not in physically in the camp for whatever reason that Yahweh has chosen for him to either be in a camp or not be in a camp. Each brother is either in the camp or not in a camp according to what Yahweh has planned for that brother. For some, and the reason why I say that is because of this, you got some brothers that's in the camp. That's not hopeful elects. And you got a lot of brothers that are not in the camp that are hopeful elects. You see? You see? It, why is this? It's because Yahweh is doing his thing. You see? You see? Because the time is going to come when they're going to come for us. You see? But Yahweh has shielded some of us. To where we're not going to be rounded up. 
You see, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, I shall keep ye from the hour of temptation because ye have kept my word of patience. You see? And so, let's go on off into this, Simone. Psalm chapter 50, verse 4. He shall call to the heavens from above, I'm talking about the Lord, and to the earth that he may judge his people. You see? That he may judge his people, not the whole world. Why? Because he don't love the whole world. Just like a father loves his child, he's going to discipline his child. He ain't worried about what the neighbor's kids doing all up and down the street. He don't care about them. They ain't his children. He only cares about who his children is. The same way with Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. He only cares about us, his children. We are his children. We the only ones he care about. Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. He we are special people unto the Lord, not because we're more or fewer in number, but because he loves us. You see, he loves us. We are a special treasure unto him. He thinks of the rest of the nations as nothing, as nothing. A uh, 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 second Esther chapter six verse fifty four through fifty six and Isaiah chapter uh, forty uh, uh, verse fifteen through seventeen. Okay, this Psalm chapter 96, verse 13. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. You see, the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness. You see, and he is. Because that's all that he is. He's all righteousness. There is nothing, no wrong or anything of that nature in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. You see? So he's coming to judge with all our righteousness. You see? And the people with his truth. You see? Let the Lord be the truth and every man be a liar. You see? That's what that is. Flat out. Psalm chapter 135 verse 14. Hold on. Look. look. I'm going to take the time to remind you to press the like button. Okay? Go ahead and press the like button. That helps out for the algorithms of this YouTube channel. And also... Uh, press the subscription button. If you haven't already, press the subscription button and press the notification bell. And that's going to allow you to receive notification alerts each time that I release a new video for your spiritual edification. And hopefully you'll, re you'll see some precepts in this video that you can use to put together with some precepts that you have that you can make a video so that you edifying video so that as as apostle gabar would say edifying video okay that you can use uh, to feed the sheep as good shepherds of the lord we must provide good grazing pastures for the sheep to graze and hopefully this video will provoke you to thought as well Okay, concerning the word. Okay, okay. Now let's get back into it. For the Lord will judge his people and he will repent himself concerning his servants. You see, that means he'll hold back on judgment against us because it is through him that the Yahweh Bashem Yahshan, that it is through him that there is no God found in our mouth. You understand? You know what I'm saying? Now we're going to repent. This is Judge in chapter 2, verse 18. And when the Lord rise them up, judges, then the Lord was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. You see? You see? Uplifted us. He's going to make sure that we are for sure out and clear out of the hands of the enemy. The enemy ain't got a chance. The enemy ain't got a chance. The enemy is destroyed before the enemy can even get started. You see? You see? For it repented the Lord because of their groanings by reasons of them that oppressed them. You see, and vex them. You see? Because Sirach chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. And we got all this knowledge and all this wisdom. 
And here it is, the two-thirds are dumb as hell. They dumb as hell, stiff-necked people, you see, you see. And the heathens and the two-thirds, and the, the heathens and the Edomites, you see, are way out there, you see. But we be wanting to just reach our people. And that's the reason why we here. That's the reason why Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 3, we ate this roll. Okay? And Ezekiel chapter 3, verse uh, 17, uh, we we warn our people to let them know that they're on the wrong path. They're on a crooked, a crooked path. They need to repent to the Mashiach, Yahushai, least ye be destroyed. Okay? Flat out. This is uh, Judge chapter 10, verse 15. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, we have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. You see? Because they wanted to we want to make sure those of us who are who are self-evaluators, you see, we take the time to look at ourselves because one, we know that we're not right. We're not one hundred we're not one hundred and ten percent perfect. If we was, we wouldn't be inside these these, these corruptible, uh, 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 sinful, wicked, uh, uh, flesh bodies. We'd be in our spiritual bodies if we were perfect. No, we need a physician. Why? Because we're not well. You see, I know I'm not well. You see, I don't know about you, but I, I ain't well. I'm not perfect. I need a physician. I need a Yahweh Shai. You see? you see, whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. You see, to purge us and to prune us, offered prune off of us the things that we don't realize and, and don't know that we need pruning off of us. The Lord takes care of all this. You see, at different times when when He allows you to make He allows you to have one thing to happen for you, but He may not allow another thing to happen for you. Why? Because the Lord only wants to give you your means, your daily bread. He ain't trying to give you a whole stove full of loaves of bread, just a loaf of bread, just to carry you for the day, you see. What seemeth good unto thee, you see, because what seems good unto the Lord is what we want him to do unto us, prune and offer us all the impurities that we don't need. That's the reason why he's taking us through the fires of purification, the, the furnace of adversity. Because there's a lot upon us that need to be burnt off. We are like gold, you see. A fine gold, a, 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 a wedges of a fire. So that means that in, in order to get the gold at its purest state, you got to burn off the impurities. And that's why the Lord, the Lord takes us through the furnace of adversities, you see. To burn off that excess of toxins that we have upon us. You see, and because remember, all is vanity and we've all of us have heaped upon us many things that we don't even need. You see. You see, deliver us only. We pray thee this day, you see, deliver us only. Don't destroy us. Don't judge us. Deliver us. Deliver us. Judge chapter 10, verse 16. And they put away the strange gods or from among them. You know what I mean? All them wicked gods that they been worshiping and different things. I remember this one old guy. I went uh, 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 to do some work for him. No, no, I went to look at some work that he would want me to do. I was going to give him an estimate. And we got, we got upstairs to the upper uh, part of the house. And he had... Look like a pentagram in the uh, the window, uh, sh showcase window, and a, a skull, and a skull with eyes and hair, and a glass globe on top of it, and I don't know some rocks and candles and different things all in the pentagram, and all these different things worshiping false gods, strange gods. You see, and you'd be surprised how many people are worshiping false gods and doing voodoos and all types of stuff. And they trying to make voodoo dolls and all types of crazy mess. You'd be surprised. The false gods that many people are following. You see, that's out there right now. You see, and and served the Lord and his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. You see. The Lord's soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. 
You see? That's so. all. So. Psalm chapter 90, verse 13. Return, O Lord. How long? How long, O Lord, do we have to go through what we're going through? The, the, the uh, brothers that have that have passed on, they up there up there in the kingdom now, be, be, before Yahweh. They asked him, How long, O Lord? How long we, we have to be bothered with this, you know, this red devil that's down there that just that just completely destroying our people? How long? How long do we have to go through this? How long, Lord? How long? And and let it repent thee. Concerning thy servants. You see? You see? Because those of us that are sincere and doing this, uh, pushing this truth, and we doing the right things, we can hardly wait for when this red devil, this Esau is Edom, for this Edomite kingdom to be destroyed. Because that's the only way our kingdom is coming. This wicked kingdom must be destroyed. It must be. We're going to read a few more of these, one or two, and then, and then close it out. Psalm chapter 106, verse 45. And he re remembered for them his covenant. You see, his covenant that he worked out with us, not with the rest of the nations, not with the whole world, only with us. And he repented according to the multitude of his mercy upon us, upon us. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 20. Is Ephraim my dear son? You see? You see? Because one, when we when we find ourselves drifting, when, when people, when you, if you drifted away from the Lord, you let go of the plow, you need to understand that you are a strange withering, few, uh, a strange withering plant. And you look like really, really strange to the Lord. You don't look quite right. You know, that's why the Lord said, is Ephraim my dear son? You see, because Ephraim, the northern kingdom, been going off, right? Been going off. And so the Lord just wanted to know, is Ephraim my dear son? You see, is he a pleasant child? Is he? You see, how can we be? Going through all this that we're going through. <laughs> you see, but again, we bear the indignations of the Lord because we sinned against him. He ain't sinned against us. We sinned against him. You see? Is he a pleasant child? For since I speak against him, I do earnestly remember him still. You see, the Lord remembers us still. Even though he's, you know, he has spoken against us, he remembers us still. That's the reason why he 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 prays for us unto the Father, for those you know that are proper, you know, that that that, that the Lord had chosen uh, uh, to be saved. Therefore, my bowels are troubled for him. Whoa, he said, my bowels, bowels. Bow <laughs> are troubled for him. You understand? <laughs> I can see a lot of things. Let us keep going. I will surely have mercy upon him. You see? You see? Because the Lord is not a, 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 a God to be angry and mad forever. You see? Even at times when you know you ain't quite did right. Repent, turn from your wicked ways, and turn from your wicked thoughts, and come back on unto the Lord. You see, back unto the Lord. Have mercy upon him, saith the Lord. This is the last one here. Uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 14. Who knoweth if he will return and repent? And, and and leave a blessing behind him. Who knows? Who knows what he's going to do? What the Lord is going to do? Who knows? Only how about Shem Yahshad knows. Even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord, your God. You see, let's read one more. Amos chapter 7, verse 3. The Lord repented for this. It shall not be, saith the Lord. And what shall not be? 
the Lord's judgment against us. For the Lord withholds his judgment from the saints. He makes sure there's no guile found in our mouths. He makes sure he's the inter inter interceder, the intercession, the, the, the one that intercedes for us, that prays for us, that talks to the Almighty Father Yahweh on our behalf. He prays for us, not for the whole world. John chapter 17, verse 9, you see. So we're going to go ahead and close the video out right there. Okay. Lord's willing, you were edified by today's video, by today's lesson. Hopefully you receive some precepts that you can put together with some precepts that you have to, to, so that you can make an edifying video to help feed the sheep. Remember, as good shepherds of the Lord, our job is always to provide good grazing pastures for the sheep to graze. You see, daily the Lord said he was in the temple teaching daily. So forth. So therefore, we too must be teaching daily. You understand? Daily. And so, and also, um, you know, for those of you who uh, uh, sometimes you find yourself been pre pressurized by the many different uh, 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 distractions that comes at us, hold fast, hold strong, and keep your mind focused on your how about Shem Yao Shai. Keep them scriptures in your mind because it is the will of the Lord and the power of the Lord and the strength and the, and, and, and the might and the wisdom of the Lord that sustains us and keeps us whole, you see. And so, 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 Lord's willing, the, the, the video was edifying to you. And um, this is your Hebrews like brother, Meshava, here in the city of Detroit. We'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Brothers, stay strong. Akims, stay strong. Uh, remember, no matter what the enemy comes at us with, just remember, it is the Lord that has your salvation. Stay strong in this word. The second uh, Timothy chapter two, verse 15, study, always study to show yourself approved. That's one thing we must always do. Show ourselves approved to who? Yahweh. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. How do you divide the word of truth? By precepts. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9 through 15. Shalom to the hopeful elects.